This is Orange County, California, a sunny, sprawling landscape with a population of over 3 million residents. Backdrop for the exceedingly important Orange County Water District. And home to someone I'd like you all to meet, Katie. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Katie. How's it going? Uh, sorry about that, Katie. It happens. Hey, everyone out there. It's nice to meet you all. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me today, even though you probably have no idea what this is even about. But hey, good news. Everything we're about to talk about today pertains directly to you. This is about something you use and need every single day and probably don't even think much about. And that something is water. Oh, it's the good stuff. <clears throat> oh, thank you. But not just any water. The drinking water that comes out of your faucets here in Orange County, California. But where does all that water come from? How does it get so clean? And who or what is responsible for all of that? Today, we're gonna find out all those answers and more by first taking a look at the Orange County groundwater basin. Show them, narrator guy. Oh, <clears throat> that's me. So you might be wondering, is this the Orange County Groundwater Basin? Or possibly, is this the Orange County Groundwater Basin? Or maybe even, could this be the Orange County Groundwater Basin? What are you doing in my office? Thank you, narrator. That was very informative. The answer to all of those questions is yes, but also no. That's because the Orange County groundwater basin is beneath all of that, underneath our feet, spanning 270 square miles throughout North and Central Orange County. That is a massive basin, supplying water to 2.5 million people. That's enough people to fill 42 professional football stadiums. That is a lot of stadiums and a lot of hot dogs. Which begs the question, how did all that water get in there? And how deep underground is it? Like, can I hear it down there? Is that it? Is that it? I actually don't know what I'm hearing. This is uncomfortable. I'll take it from here. Okay, so you probably can't hear the basin if you put your ear to the ground. You just get dirty. But to be fair, the Orange County groundwater basin extends thousands of feet underground, with its deepest point at nearly three quarters of a mile below the surface. You can think of it in three layers of aquifers, which are underground bodies of sediment and rock that hold and store groundwater. This top layer of water is the shallow aquifer, followed by the principal aquifer and the deep aquifer at the very bottom, all forming a natural underground reservoir that stores billions of gallons of fresh water deep within the soil. That's a lot of water, but also there are a lot of people in North and Central Orange County. So the water within the basin has to be constantly managed and refilled. That's where the Orange County Water District comes in. As a public agency, their primary responsibility is to protect the basin and ensure that there's a reliable supply of high quality water for the millions of people who live in North and Central Orange County and all of their puppies and kitties. Because we give them water too, and we can't forget about them. Look at that chunky little boy. Look at that face. Look at that face. When it comes to managing the water supply in the basin, look at it this way. Let's picture this bowl of my famous homemade trail mix as the Orange County groundwater basin. My trail mix is delicious and people love it. And it goes quickly. Naturally, my trail mix, like water, is consumed. If the trail mix were ever to become fully gone from the bowl, let's just say that would not be good. So to make sure that doesn't happen, the bowl, the basin, needs to be refilled. And that happens in a variety of ways. To start, you've got the Santa Ana River base flow beginning in the San Bernardino Mountains and traveling 100 miles downstream. There's also the Santa Ana River storm flows. That's where the Orange County Water District captures stormwater off of the river and puts it into the basin. Then you've got stuff like natural incidental recharge. 
things like rainwater that naturally seeps in through the soil and into the aquifers. You've got imported water coming in from other places like Northern California and the Colorado River. Thank you for that. And finally, the largest percentage of refill coming from the Orange County Water District's groundwater replenishment system. My favorite part. The Groundwater Replenishment System, or GWRS as you cool kids call it, is a really important part of making sure that there's enough water in the underground basin. The GWRS, which not to brag, but is the largest water purification system for potable reuse in the world, is a super advanced process that takes highly treated wastewater that would have been previously discharged into the Pacific Ocean, purifies it, and sends it to strategically placed open ponds that we call recharge basins, which collect the water and slowly filter it into the Orange County groundwater basin. It's like recycled water. Isn't that awesome? Huh? All right, if you didn't catch all that, here's how it works. It starts out at homes and businesses in North and Central Orange County. Humans do what they do and expel wastewater. Water from showers, dishwashers, washing machines, and yes, even as the French say, a toilet is. This wastewater makes its way through pipes and all that underground stuff to OC San, the Orange County Sanitation District, an integral part in the GWRS project. OC San puts the wastewater through a series of processes to sanitize and clear out major contaminants and turn that wastewater into treated wastewater. Oh, but we aren't done yet. No siree. We're just getting started, baby. You see, the treated wastewater from OC San then makes its way to the GWRS. And that is where the advanced water purification process begins. The process of recycling water is a lot like securing and cleaning up your computer. One day you get an email from a prince saying he's gonna make you a millionaire. Then the next you find your computer filled with a bunch of unnecessary files, viruses, and malware. You'll live and you'll learn. The first thing you need to do is to perform a basic cleanup by uninstalling unwanted programs and deleting obvious junk files. That's kind of like what OC Sand does with the wastewater that comes through their facility by removing large particles through their own three-step process. Once OC San has done their part of the job, they send the highly treated wastewater over to their partner, the Orange County Water District, where OCWD uses their own three-step advanced purification process. Beginning with the first step, microfiltration. The treated wastewater is run through filtration membranes, which is basically like a bunch of long straws covered in tiny microscopic holes. These holes act as a filter, removing large contaminants. Sort of like how this antivirus scan looks for and removes large malicious files and obvious threats. Next is something called reverse osmosis, which is the workhorse of the purification process. Here, water is pushed through a semi-permeable membrane to remove any additional, even tinier contaminants that still remain. It's like running a deep system scan on your computer to remove hidden malware and optimize system performance. But instead of hidden threats to your computer, reverse osmosis removes things like bacteria, pharmaceuticals, and viruses like COVID. At last, the water undergoes its final stage of the treatment process by using ultraviolet light and hydrogen peroxide to essentially zap away any of the really, really tiny contaminants that may still remain thus completing the advanced purification process and making everything as clean and secure as possible. Just like how I am installing the latest security patches and firewalls to make sure my computer is fully protected and optimized. Seriously, what are you doing in my office? So after the GWRS does its thing, the purified GWRS water is pumped through a 13 mile long pipeline to the recharge facilities located in Anaheim, refilling the groundwater basin and providing delicious drinking water to 2.5 million Orange County Onians. Orange Countyites. You folks. But not all of the GWRS water makes it to the recharge facilities. 
The remaining water is sent to the seawater intrusion barrier, where it's pumped directly into the basin to keep seawater from the nearby Pacific Ocean from finding its way into the groundwater basin and contaminating the freshwater. Well, there you have it. The cycle or recycle of water is complete. Thanks to my friends here at OCWD and the Groundwater Replenishment System. Hey, Steve. Who's Steve? I'm Eric. GWRS is not only tasty and delicious, but it also costs less than it does to import water, it uses half of the energy than it does to import water, and improves the quality of water in the groundwater basin. And uh, am I missing anything else, narrator guy? Uh, yeah, the water is also super, super clean. OCWD performs water quality testing at about 1,500 locations throughout the basin. And the on-site laboratory analyzes 20,000 water samples each year, testing for 500 compounds, with all results well below permit levels or levels of non-detection. What he said. Oh, and a fun fact, this is actually the largest facility of its kind in the world. I think we said that already. Oh. But that was a fun fact. Yeah, it was. Anyway. All this talk about water has really made me thirsty. GWRS water, it really is the good stuff. Oh, uh, <laughs> my brother and his friends, they just finished all the trail mix. Uh, I gotta go. This has been fun, but narrator, can you wrap this up? I gotta go. Bye, guys. Oh, uh, that's me again. <clears throat> well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all learned a lot today and have a greater appreciation for the importance and scale of the groundwater replenishment system. Now go have yourself a glass of GWRS water. You've earned it. Is that guy mowing concrete?